NJ bill would fund sanctuary cities denied federal dollars by Trump. New Jersey lawmakers from immigrant-rich Hudson County on Tuesday announced a bill that would provide state aid to sanctuary cities denied federal funds for failing to comply with immigration rules. The bill was introduced in both houses of the legislature on Tuesday by State Senator Brian Stack, Assemblyman Raj Mukherjee, and Assemblywoman Annette Caparo, all Democrats from the 33rd District. The three held a press conference in the garage at City Hall in Union City, where Stack is also the mayor. Union City, technically, has always been a sanctuary city, said Stack. We have never turned away anybody, documented or undocumented, when they come in looking for help. The difference now is that President Donald Trump issued a January 25 executive order intended to ensure that jurisdictions that fail to comply with applicable federal law do not receive federal funds, except as mandated by law, specifically targeting sanctuary cities and states. Sanctuary jurisdictions across the United States willfully violate federal law in an attempt to shield aliens from removal from the United States, the order asserts. These jurisdictions have caused immeasurable harm to the American people and to the very fabric of our republic. But the bill's proponents say the order violates the Tenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which they assert prevents the federal government from requiring state or local agencies to implement federal law or regulations. The legislation, S-3007 in the Senate and A-4590 in the Assembly, would allow municipalities or counties denied federal funds to apply to the State Commissioner of Community Affairs for a dollar-for-dollar -dollar match to compensate for the withheld federal money. However, the lawmakers said there is no specific appropriation to go along with the bill. In the event a municipality sued the federal government to claim funds that were denied and won, Stack said that municipality would then reimburse the state for the matching funds it had received. Whether the law would be approved by Governor Chris Christie, an early Trump supporter who, despite having been passed over for cabinet post, remains an ally of the Republican president, is not known. And while Stack is a so-called Christie Egrot who endorsed the Republican governor for re-election in 2013, he said he had not spoken to Christie about the sanctuary funding bill and can only hope he will support it. He said the bill would be reviewed by the budget committees of each chamber, and possibly other panels. Mukherjee, a lawyer and Marine Corps veteran whose parents are immigrants from India, said 60% of the 33rd district is Hispanic, and he addressed the crowd and news media in Spanish and English. Our nation is a nation of immigrants, said Mukherjee, 28, who lives in Jersey City. I served in the Marine Corps with people who were not yet U.S. citizens, and they bled the same color. Caparo, who is from Hoboken, insisted that immigrants, whether in the country legally or not, are for the most part hardworking people seeking a better life. Undocumented does not mean criminal, she said. There was, in fact, at least one undocumented immigrant present. Catalino Guerrero, 59, of Union City, said he came to New Jersey from Mexico 22 years ago looking for a better, more peaceful life. He was misled into thinking he could apply for political asylum coming from the Mexican state of Chiapas, then a hotbed of the Zapatista rebel movement. Since then, Garo said he had operated a wedding hall until suffering a recent back injury. He's now facing deportation. And while Garo has had several meetings with immigration officials without being sent back to Mexico so far, he has another meeting scheduled for Wednesday morning, his first under the Trump administration. I don't know what's going to happen, he said. He said.